Janelle, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new video, y'all. So today is what? April the 14th. April 14th. As you see, the weather switched up just like I said in my last video. It's very nice out here today. Anytime I went from when Oh, I cannot do bugs. Oh my gosh, I can't. Oh my goodness. Went from wearing a jacket to just a sports bra anyway so i'm just taking a stroll today in the park it is a very beautiful day out as i said let me um i'm gonna show y'all the little scenery so y'all i seen a couple people out here i was just talking to my friend Rhonda. I'm gonna get under the shade. I saw a couple people out here with hammocks, right? And I've always wanted a hammock, but like I told y'all, my last place had a balcony, not a patio, right? But I'm gonna buy me a hammock. The thing is, you gotta make sure when you set it up that you're in between two trees, right? I saw a couple people out here just chilling. If that ain't a damn vibe, oh my gosh. If that ain't a vibe. But yeah, it is beautiful out here. So I'm gonna just finish my little walk and and enjoy the scenery i see y'all in the park um it's starting to get a little bit breezy but i had pulled out my chair that was um in my trunk because i always keep a, a um i call it a park chair in my trunk always but yeah i had pulled that out and i was sitting under the tree it was so cool i was just chilling eating my sunflower seeds and all the squirrels was coming over there trying to eat my sunflower seeds the ones that i had in the last video one thing about sunflower seeds it's just like pringles once you eat one you cannot stop like i've been cracking these things since last night i, ca I cannot help myself oh my goodness i can't but anyway so yeah i'm at the park that i told y'all that's gonna be my new park for this summer and this school right here this catholic church that was my old catholic school that i went to when i was young so yeah um so like I had told y'all a couple videos ago, this is my old stomping grounds. I used to live around this way when I was younger. I went to this Catholic school for about um, three, four years. Five, five years, four years, four years, I think. Yeah, so anyway, so I'm on my way back in the house. So I see y'all in the So I'm back in the house. I just got finished eating salmon cakes and salad. And now I'm making my chocolate chip cookies that I had got in the last video. Um, I'm very sleepy. It had got like really like breezy outside. So I'm glad I had this jacket like I was telling y'all when I was in my car. So when I got in here, I just put this jacket on. But um, besides that, today so far has been a great day. Besides one little thing, but I'm not even going to talk about it. Um, It's like six something. That kind of dampened my mood, but got to keep pushing. So yeah, it's like six something in the evening. Um. Yeah, so I'm waiting for my new audio book to come through. I think I should be getting it tomorrow. Um, which one is this one? I can't even remember which one this one is. I'll tell y'all when it comes because it's going to probably be in this vlog. So, yeah, I had took a little break, which you always need a break. So, yeah, I, I'm ready to get back into that. But, yeah, um, so I'm waiting for my cookies to get done, and then I'm just going to relax. Hey, it's the next day. I am just relaxing for now it took me like about a little over two hours to do my nails because i put so many coats on my nails um to let them dry so yeah i done my nails i got decals on my nails and yeah so that's what i've been doing for most of the day i have not even cut the tv on yet i thought i was gonna be listening to my new audio book but when i got it it was actually for the kindle and i don't feel like actually reading a book i want to listen to a book so i sent it back so anyway Y'all remember back in the day when, depending on how old y'all are, back in the day when they would sell these in a regular little store? I'm sure they probably still do. When you clip it on your nose, look like you got a real nose piercing. Yeah, I bought another one of these. I had one a while back. They so, you can lose them so easily, right? But anyway, yeah, because see, I could never get my nose pierced because I have keloid skin and I suffered enough getting all, I had piercings, I had the cartilage, I had right here. And I had some other piercings that none of them healed up right because I got keloids. But nevertheless, um, it's a new day. It is beautiful outside. I cannot believe I'm not outside. My mother left me. I don't know where she went. 
but I'm about to eat my second meal of the day, which is really late to be eating my second meal of the day. I really wasn't that hungry. So I'm eating leftovers from last night, salad and salmon cakes. So that's what I'm about to do. But I just wanted to check in. This is going to be a couple days in my life, y'all. So I cleaned out energy cage this morning and I put like a couple new toys in there. Just a couple. Yeah, cleaning that cage out. I mean, I clean it out often, but I don't take it apart often. But anyway, I've done that, so that's done. But, um, yeah, so right now I'm just, I've been still cracking on these sunflower seeds. I cannot stop, y'all. They down here now. I cannot stop. Woo! Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to see y'all in a few. Uh, welcome to a new day. It's the next day, which is what, Tuesday? So, it's early as what, like 12, 12 something. And I'm on my way to the post office. I have to return something. Thought I said, come on now. Yeah, so I'm on my way to the post office really quick. And I don't really have um, that many plans for today, honestly. Yeah, yesterday I didn't do anything. That's why I didn't come back on camera. I didn't do much yesterday. Yesterday, like I said, was a beautiful day, but I was just like in my zone. Um, just, you know, just relaxing for the most part. They doing all this construction. Like, when will y'all be done? Yeah, so that's where I'm on my way to right now. Oh, the cops. So yeah, I'll see y'all in a minute. Yo, so when I went, um, when I came out to my car to start my car, well, I was able to get in my car, but then my car wasn't um starting up because it was saying uh the key wasn't there, right? So this is what I had learned like within the last two years because my car I never done this before, but I always keep these batteries in my car for because if you have keyless entry and then you know when it's time to like change your your battery and your key fob, you might not know right away. It could happen at any time. So I keep four of these in my car at all times because it happened to me I forgot where was I at? Oh, I was at my mom's one time. Um, and when I was leaving, my car would not start. And I didn't, it wasn't, so I walked to Family Dollar. They didn't sell these batteries. Good thing I told y'all my mother house is like a store. I said it's like an organized store, right? My mother had a whole pack of these batteries. I think she had like 10 of them. So that's how I was able to get in my car and leave, right? And then ever since that day, I started buying these batteries and keeping them in my car. I'm like, hell to the no. I won't be stranded nowhere like you know what I'm saying because just in case so right now before I, I'm in front of the post office now but before I leave I need to put a fresh battery I got another one in here I got two more here a fresh battery in my car I mean in my key fob yeah so I'm gonna take this to loose and put this in here so I see y'all in a second end up going to another post office and this one I have never seen in my entire life of living in the city well even though I didn't live in the city my whole life but um from here but yeah this location i ain't never heard of never seen i was like where the hell am i going because the other one once i actually um got out my car the daggone um girl was gone i guess she went on lunch break like the post office is going through a phase right now where they don't be having a lot of people for the last couple trips that i've been making here it only be one person working i have never seen it like that ever but um yeah, it'd only be one person. Like, she, it was just her. I haven't been to the post office, I think, three or four times within the last two weeks. Yeah, everyone I went to was only one person working. I'm like, what the hell? But ain't no problem on mine <laughs> because they can have that. But anyway, yeah, I'm like, where the hell am I at? I never even been back here. I never even knew this was back here. What the hell? It's a beautiful day out here again today. Yes, baby. Summertime is almost here. My birthday is next month. I never do anything big on my birthday. I just go out to eat. Um, me and my mom. My son, he might go with me. He might. We'll see. Oh, wait a minute, y'all. Uh, I'm with my mom in her favorite place. And we just like browsing around looking at just home stuff, right? So, yeah. And then they playing a lot of music in here, so. Mm. 
Yo, I've been wanting a bike for a few years now. So I'm just browsing. I don't see any that I would actually want in here, but just window shopping. So cute. These are so cute, y'all, but they don't have my size. Bling, bling. So cute. Just leaving. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> lost my nose ring already i don't know what happened to it energy move your face yeah so i'm about to make me something to eat the story of my life but yeah i don't know what happened to it somewhere in walmart but yeah my mother loves walmart y'all she loves walmart but <laughs> i'm about to make something to eat so i see y'all <laughs> so y'all i am making muscles looking good so far So y'all, I am just going to relax for a few hours. Um, all of that walking around Walmart, because we were all like, you know, just walking all around. Typically, like I told y'all before, I never walk around Walmart unless I'm with my mother. Like, it's just too much, you know? But I did get something really cute. Um, shh, I got this little Bluetooth speaker so that when I'm at the park and stuff, because I have a Alexa... Um, What's the name of mine's? Let me show you. This is my Alexa speaker that I had for many, many years, right? But when I took it to the park one day, because you could charge this and not charge this or charge this and not charge this, you know. So when I took it to the park one day, it did not work. I don't know why. It's a Bluetooth speaker, right? So I was like, you know what? I need to get me a new Bluetooth speaker. So I got this one. And I think this was like um, $15. So, actually, let me take it out the box so I can see. They had yellow and gray, but I didn't want that. <clears throat> In case you didn't know, purple is my favorite color. Even though I don't buy things purple anymore. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is cute. This is so cute. So, yeah. Cute little speaker. At the top, just got, like, you know, power and all of that. Play. Yeah. Wait, do I was about to say, okay, and I go to court. So yeah, this is going to be going with me to the park. And like I was telling y'all in like um what the other the other clip from the day before yesterday, I went and get a hammock. I'ma look into like a really inexpensive one because I don't need nothing real serious, you know? But yeah, because I always like to be at the park, but I normally just like walk around the park. I don't really just like you know sit around too often but yeah but the other day um i did pull my chair out my car and i was just relaxing like i had told y'all but yeah got this so i see y'all in a few let me just let my food digest so y'all it is hours later i'm actually just about to like get in the shower and do my skincare um i'm seeing a little bit more progress on this side of my face so far as my acne but yeah um you know, and really both sides, but it's still not fast enough, you know. Y'all see energy in the background. Anyway, y'all, I think I showed y'all these before. I had got these mics for Christmas. I have two of them, right? And you see how you got to put this in the end of your phone. But since I have the iPhone 15, this doesn't fit. So I can't even use these. And I had a mic that I used to use a lot on my videos, like probably over 100 videos ago. But I have no idea what happened to it. But when I edit and everything, the audio sounds okay to me. I haven't had anybody tell me anything different. But I don't know. I think having a a mic, a good mic, is a good, you know, a good thing. I'm going to try to find another one. Well, actually, I didn't never find this one. This was a gift. But I'm going to try to find one that this part fits into the iPhone 15. So, 
basically yeah i'm just going to see y'all tomorrow i don't know what tomorrow brings but for tonight i just started watching again this is like um okay so this is an old story y'all may have heard about it it's happened in 2017 um i was telling my girlfriend Rhonda about it because i watch stuff like this all the time if you already watched a video about my past career this kind of stuff interests me because i want to see people get the time that they deserve right so it was this guy who murdered this little girl she was only 12 years old he raped her and murdered her and i'm watching the interrogation where he's lying and lying and lying and lying and plus i got the window open to y'all so y'all hear everything going on outside and boy do it be a lot anyway yeah um he was just lying and lying and lying about everything they had him on camera they had his cell phone pinging in his uh, hold up y'all around this area all you hear it's amalams and because it's like not far from a main street anyway it's so annoying so yeah the guy the the detectives had um they caught him red-handed they had his cell phone was pinging in a certain area um they knew that he was there they had pictures because you know pretty much everywhere we go your picture your car they could see run it back and see your car coming past and things like that right Basically, you know, they caught him. They just waiting for him to confess. And the the interrogation is four hours long. The other night, maybe about five nights ago, I watched one hour of it. So now this one is the second part, which is, I guess, is all of it. I don't think I'm going to watch all of it tonight. But I've been watching it gradually because I just started watching this part again. Basically, it's just like, just seeing how conniving and how deceiving and how phony and fake these guys are these murderers these criminals you know what i'm saying of course we're not talking about everybody but we're talking about criminals and murderers right um you know you just got to be on your p's and q's it was just so disappointing to realize like how this little girl was taken from her home and like i said i was telling my girlfriend Rhonda the story her name her name was naomi this was down in florida y'all might have heard the story like i said I guess they wait until years later to put it out on YouTube so that, you know, you can watch the whole thing unfold. I didn't watch the trial. I don't know if the trial was on here because I, typically I watched the trial. I went ahead when the judge say life with no parole because that's what he got. He got life with no chances of parole, which it should have been worse. But um, it's like he had a whole girlfriend. Actually, he had two girlfriends. One of the girlfriends he had a baby by and you're still, you know, your predatory mind you're still going after kids like you're still seeking out kids and he would stay with his girlfriend who he had the son by he would stay with her most of the time i don't think his name was on the lease or anything but he would stay there a lot right and the little girl that he kidnapped raped and murdered lived right in the same complex like how disgusting can you get but um it takes a special type of person to be able to listen to this kind of stuff i i guess i'm special because it's hard but um you just got to be so careful and you got to understand, like I was telling my friend Rhonda, somebody's always watching you because they really are. Somebody's always watching like damn near your every, your every move. Um, they just are like I have stories for days that I just don't even be wanting to revisit. So I don't even talk about them. But like, yeah, you really got to be careful. And when I was at the park in the beginning of this video... Um, this girl, I was just sitting because I told you I got my chair out my trunk, right? And I was like, because it was so beautiful out, right? And I just be very leery about just sitting in grass, like, because uh, there's too many dogs in the park and all that. I, I'm just too leery about that because, like I told my friend Ron, I told her this too. God forbid I ever step in any, you know, feces of animals, anybody's really, whatever shoes I got on, y'all can have them. I, I don't even want them shit, so that plays out in my mind like when i'm walking around in grass and all of that i don't know i just so i went to my car and got my chair so it was this girl who had walked past and you know she started talking to me and the one thing that she had said be careful because there's predators out here and it was just like even though i'm literally always on point i mean you know you can't really stop things that you can't stop everything let me just say that but you can always be on point right but um, I was just like, you know, thank you or whatever. Because it's always somebody watching you. And just to know that this guy, you have a whole girlfriend and a side chick. And then you're seeking out children. Oh, my goodness. So, basically, the only reason why I'm watching this whole 
um i was about to say confession the interrogation because he's going to confess in it after a million lies he was so cool calm and collective after a million zillion lies when they had him they had his car they showed him the pictures this that the other he still was lying so yeah i talk to y'all more about it um on the next video like so far as actually how it really unfolded you know once he stopped lying and and you know confessed because he knew they, they had his ass you see what i'm saying terrible but yeah i'm gonna see y'all tomorrow hey y'all good morning it's the next day so today is what um wednesday these days are flying by y'all wednesday so the 17th yeah so basically i just got out the shower it's about 11 45 in the morning and i done my put my medication and everything on my skin all of that and i also just put rose water over top of it but yeah that's what's going on right now and it's like raining really really well it kind of slapped down a little bit because i had went out on the porch for a second when I tell y'all it was raining so bad, I'm talking about so bad. I saw the um the mail carrier um walking down the street and I just like, oh my goodness. I, I it gave me flashbacks because if y'all know the story, you know the story. My my last two years of my career, I worked outside. Rain, sleet, hail, snow. Could you imagine now not doing nothing what he was doing, but literally working outside. But it was outside, but it was inside. Uh anyway. Could you imagine working outside when it's raining so hard where you, everything is drenched, right? Or could you imagine working outside when it's snowing or 107 degrees? Because I'm talking like in Baltimore, it gets very, very hot here. The humidity here, it gets very, very hot here. Now, every single summer, it may not get as hot as maybe the summer before. But maybe when I say it get, it get hot, the humidity here is nothing to play with, right? So could you imagine it, right? So whenever it rains really, really bad, it gives me flashbacks. And I just always say, thank you, God, because I don't have to deal with that shit. Whenever it rains, whenever it's snowing, whenever it's whenever, I don't have nowhere that I have to be. Thank you, God. So um, when I saw the mail carrier um, just like jogging down the street, when I tell you he was drenched, he was drenched. That's how bad the rain was coming down. Anyway, y'all, so... I had stayed up a little late last night because I was still watching the um, interrogation, right? I had kind of like got off of it and then I started watching it again. And I did get to the part where the guy had, you know, confessed or whatever, right? Um, basically, he thought that the detectives would be able to get the prosecutors to cut him a deal. But you was the one who lied a trillion times saying you didn't know nothing about the little girl. And then I listened to some of his fake story and then i just i didn't even want to hear it no more he basically said that the 12 year old came on to him like these guys gotta stop it i'm so happy that he got life with no parole but i wish it could have been the death penalty because that's what he deserved because that little girl did not deserve that but um yeah so for the remaining of the next hour i'm going to look through my recipe book i showed y'all this in what two vlogs ago and then i have another recipe book that i showed y'all that i had got from five below so me and my mom are going to be going to the market within like the next couple days. And I'm going to find a recipe in here so that I can get everything that I need. But when I look through this book, y'all, this book has some really decent meatless, okay, recipes. Very, very meat. I mean, oh my goodness. I'm going to see if I can find another one real quick. So maybe if y'all um can take a screenshot of it. Because the last time I had just flipped through it and just whatever page it landed on. But yeah, it's some decent recipes in this book. I'm very happy that I bought it. Like I said, it was very inexpensive. Um, I told y'all it was only $5 from the store Ollie's. Uh, let's see if I can find one. Oh, that look interesting. Let me see. But yeah, the other recipe book, it had like this smoothie that you add sweet potatoes in it. So I'm going to make sure, but it was a purple sweet potato. So I'm going to make sure that I get one of them. The next time we go to the store. But then again, see, my mom, she only really likes. Y'all know I told y'all she go to Walmart all the time. Primarily, she goes to like three different markets. The, the one that I went to in that last video, that's one of her, I guess, favorite markets. See, I, they not the markets that I go to. So me and her, we probably going to have to split up. Um, I'm going to have to go to my all-time favorite, you know, the stores that I go to. But I know I'm going to take a trip to the Asian market because now that I live down here, 
if y'all know the story, I told y'all I lived basically from 30 to 40 minutes away from my mom's house where I could get right on the highway and I could be in, in a location where all my favorite markets are, right? So the Asian market is nowhere near here. So I'm going to have to take a trip there, which is very far from here, right? But um, it's a few things that I want to get from there. I have to get sushi sauce because remember when I had showed y'all the... um the seaweed and i was saying i was going to make sushi i never made it because i could not find the sushi sauce we had went to like maybe two different markets within that week and they didn't have it i know for sure they have it at the asian market because that's where i got it from the last time and i had bought my mom a sushi kit maybe like two years ago she never opened it she never opened it so that's what i'm going to be using to make the sushi and i'm going to show y'all but um yeah so i have to there's no way you can make sushi without sushi sauce right so I have to go there to get, you know, a few things that I need. I'm just trying to see if I can find something real quick that maybe y'all can screenshot. This stuff in here, uh, Toya, Toya might like this. Toya, you might, if you're watching this, you might like this recipe. Because I know, I'm thinking you like mushrooms since you're vegan. Most vegan people, that's primarily what they eat is mushrooms. But this recipe has um, tofu and mushrooms. So, they show like a little picture of it right here. But if y'all could take a, if, if Toya, if you're watching this or whoever else that, you know, is vegan or whatever, if you want to take a screenshot of this. But yeah, this might be interesting, but I don't really prefer mushrooms. I don't like, I don't like the way they look. I think I told y'all this story. So when I was very young, my grandmother had an Asian friend. That was her really, really good friend of hers. And I would go with my grandmother to her house. Her name was Miss Jean. I would go with my grandmother to her house. I never forget her. And you know Asians, they love mushrooms, right? So she would have mushrooms at her house. And it was like the white mushrooms, the kind you would see growing out the ground. When I tell y'all that shit scared me it scared me shitless like ever since i was kid a kid those things are so ugly like i i cannot i cannot i cannot like just seeing the mushrooms at her house i never forget it i had never ate a mushroom until maybe like about i think the first time i went to shake shack which was when i lived in charlotte and i had a mushroom burger i think that was the first time i ate a mushroom now if i ate a mushroom prior to that it was because i didn't know it was in there I'm thinking when I tell you those mushrooms scared the hell out of me because they were so ugly. Mushrooms are so ugly. It's nothing that nobody can tell me and be like, oh, yeah, this, that, the other is nothing you can tell me. I don't even want to touch them. I don't. So, yeah, she was she grew her own mushrooms. So she has so many of them and them things scared me shitless, y'all. I never forget it. Oh, wow. They got a rainbow veggie sushi um recipe. This one. um, Look at that. That would be something I can consider. I don't know if I would want to be crunching into all those peppers that's like raw. You know what I mean? Because when I eat red, orange, yellow peppers, I stir fry them. I don't know if I would want to be crunching into them like raw. I don't know. But yeah, y'all. So that's what I'm going to do for the next like hour. Look through this book and um, get a recipe that I want to make. But um, besides that, I think I'm going to end this video because I'm going to start a new one. So, this video was, what, three days so far, even though it was, like, choppy. It was very choppy. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all, my allergies. I got the window open. Yeah. And I've been, my my eyes, like, I woke up with my eyes stuck together because it's allergy season, y'all. So, anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to end this vlog, and I'm going to start a new one probably in, like, two days. I'm going to give myself a little break in between because I used to vlog every single day. But now I vlog, you know, different days. But, yeah, I'm going to give myself a little break two days, and then I'll start back up for my Sunday's vlog. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching, y'all. I will see y'all in a few days. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment.